a girl who was empty. There was an assassin's organization that had existed since the Dark Ages, the Order of the Moonlight Horse. At the young age of 13, the girl was its second most skilled member. The only thing she had were her title, which had been passed down to her, and the designation, Kruger. She spent her days simply carrying out her missions with soulless eyes, an emotionless assassin doll. Then one day, the Order met its end. At the hand of Ouroboros. At the time, the society was still in its early days, and the two groups were in full conflict behind the scenes. But against the combined assault of the Almighty Conflagration, the Blade Lord, and the Steel Maiden, the Moonlight Horse stood no chance. They were nearly completely destroyed. Its members, known as the Thousand Oathbreaker and the Golden Butterfly, became the Fourth Anguis and Enforcer Number Three, respectively. While the empty girl was welcomed into the society as Enforcer Number Nine. But even after becoming an Enforcer, the girl's life did not change. She obeyed the requests of the Anguis, performing many missions. She was always free to refuse, but as she knew no other way of life, she simply accepted. But it was through that bleak existence that her bond with the Reinford family came to be. The girl was given a mission by the Sixth Anguis to infiltrate a city named Ruhr in the northeast part of the Empire. The mission required her to meet with a certain person. But a terrible accident occurred. The mission ended in failure. The girl suffered serious injuries and the other person lost their life. That person was Chairman Arena's husband, Lady Elisa's father, Master Franz Reinfurt. <laughs> Yet Lady Arena saved the girl, the one whose actions resulted in her husband's death. She even gave her a name, I had never had a name before then. Kruger was simply a designator to differentiate me from others who have held the same title. One would simply change their name as the mission required. That was the way of the order. But Lady Arena gave me the name, Sharon. Suddenly, this empty girl had a place to belong as a maid of the Reinford family. Since that point, I have continued to serve the Reinfords while still belonging to Ouroboros. I was able to do so thanks to the freedom the society grants its enforcers. <laughs> I simply felt this was a good opportunity. Someday, when you feel the need, please tell Lady Elisa. For you see, there is the possibility that I may not be there for her. <laughs> it is merely a possibility. It is absolutely impossible for my love and devotion for the chairman and my lady to ever leave me. Oh, but of course, if you and Lady Elisa were to become a couple, I would serve you as your own personal maid as well. Masterine. <laughs> you truly have become dependable. However, for you to say all that to an older woman such as myself is a tad unfair. Perhaps I should begin serving you as your own personal maid right now. <laughs> 